I want you to think about something. Think about the last time that you went to purchase a fairly expensive product. There's multiple options on the market, probably in the hundreds or thousands of dollars. Did you just buy the first thing that came up? Or did you do some research? Did you explore different products and what benefits they might have to you? If you're like me, I typically get on a web browser and I open five or six tabs of the different products that I'm considering. And I just go through them one by one. Some of them, within seconds, I close the tab because I'm like, ah, oh, this isn't for me. Now, what is it that made me close that tab? Maybe that was a perfectly good product, but maybe they just were confusing. Like I wasn't a good fit for them. The wrong target market. That's not for me. But then other ones, why do you immediately go like, yes, this is it? Well, probably because it was talking super clear to you. They weren't trying to be everything to everybody. They were speaking directly to you. They weren't trying to be super jargony and impressive with all of the technical specs that maybe you don't even understand, but they were talking to you and how their product is built for somebody like you to benefit somebody like you. It makes your life better. People buy products only after they read or hear words that compel them, that convince them to buy those products. So when you are approaching branding for your company, you need to take that same approach. You need to think about your words. Your brand starts with the words and the story brand framework is a great way to develop your brand message. And we use it with all of our clients. Story is a sense-making device. It helps us understand the world around us. When you hear a story that's illustrating an ethical point, you understand it much more than if somebody just tells you, this is the ethic, this is the code. But if they give you an example of what that is, you're much more likely to believe it. We get this from politics a lot. In fact, it's become almost a problem that politicians don't even want to talk about actual policies. They just want to tell stories of <laughs> different people that they've met along the campaign trail and how they've been helped or how they will help them. But when you're talking about your company, you can use this same storytelling technique, whether you're using an actual story or you're helping the person reading and interacting with your brand to enter into the story that you're telling. If you enjoyed this Brand Nerd podcast clip, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. In the meantime, here are additional videos you might find illuminating.